All right, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the Let's Play of Lake. I've uh, known about this game for a little bit now. I actually first saw it on TikTok one day and saw that it's kind of like a free roam third person uh, game where you play as a woman that returns to her home town of uh, something and essentially you become a mailman or a mailwoman and uh, deliver mail. Yo, what's going on, Rap Blue Steel? How you doing? I am doing well. How are you? And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the game. Uh, I will say thank you to the developers or whoever did approve my key access because uh, I did get one through key mailer. So thank you for that. I was looking to pick up this game regardless, but today I checked and saw that I got approved for one. So here we are. Funny how a program designed to help you organize your life is the reason why I can't be at a Labor Day party. Congrats, thank you. <laughs> Good done breakfast coffee now, nice. Glad I can spend two stress-free weeks in a good old Providence Oaks. That's funny, that's actually yesterday's date. August 31st. Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow more. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, but do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to, but I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, I like the little uh, <laughs> sign Thanks in. So much for picking me up, Mr. I mean, loading screen. Mr. Class wow, September first. Please just call me Frank. It's almost the like they planned now, it. After all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right, then. Get ready to roll. Lake. Feels pretty cozy so it's far. It's more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir. What's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. Press E to exit the mail truck. All right, WASD, very nice. Uh, let me turn the audio back up a tiny bit here. There should be good. Okay. Walk to the mailbox. Deliver mail. Hmm, these look like bills. Whoa, how do you know that they're bills? Look around. Oh God, my mouse went off. Hold on, it went to the other screen, I mean. Okay, just looking around. Hmm. 
blind it says to look around. Enter the mail truck. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Very quiet right now. <laughs> Walk to the back of the mail truck. Open the hatch. It's weird. I see the, my mouse to pick up. Wow, we're actually going to deliver it to the door. Huh. All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. Walk back to the mail truck, hold shift to walk faster. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. What happened to the music? It's so quiet. Ah, there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, Sports. what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Adios. Walk to the front door of the house. Wait, is this our house or the house? Enter your parents' house. Oh, she's staying with her parents for two weeks, I guess. Weiss residence, Monday afternoon. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that dad and I landed safely. The Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? <laughs> ah, I'll talk to you later. I guess it is the 80s, so they didn't have, like, cell phones just yet. September Good 2nd morning, morning. Meredith. Ready for your first day? I guess. Good day morning, rock. Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. Thank. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I probably need that. Bon voyage! One second, chat. Walk to the mail truck to uh, enter. Open the map. Okay. So I guess we'll just this waypoint. Why is it so quiet? Is there supposed to be music playing? I feel like there should be. Keep radio on. Radio effects. I'm gonna stop right there. Oh, it shows you package and then it shows other thing. Also, my mouse keeps popping up. Uh, what street is this? 
So you have to actually know what you're picking up. Oh boy. 103 Main Street. Wait, what? Oh, uh, unless if that was the wrong one. General store? Is that not a delivery store? Autopilot. Am I bringing them Wait, a package? Where's the package? Yeah, what package am I bringing them? I don't know. Um. It just says general store. Is there another main street? 207 main street? Maybe that's it. We have to do some solving for him. We're on Main Street right now, so maybe that's what it is. Pick up. What on earth did these folks order? Hello, sir. I hope this is yours. Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. Uh, actually, this is only temporarily. Actually, this is only temporary. <sighs> That's what I said, too. A long time ago. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Interesting. All right, Nancy, have a good one. Okay. Wait, so you can actually autopilot to some of these? <laughs> Wait, is it only certain ones? I mean, because it was the general store. Yeah. Okay. Let's try going to the next one. Right here. Hop out. The I mail. remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. McGill? Alright, what's the next closest one? I guess we'll go to the left. I'm actually enjoying this. Wait, can you sprint in the car? Let me turn the music up. There we go. Now it's not as quiet. There's literally Here's like no Stan's other diner. cars. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? Just doing a horrible parking job. What uh, what's this location here? I don't like how you can't see them sometimes. That 102, 200, 300. So I'm assuming this is 500 then. We need to grab a box. 
500. Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But well, my gosh, it's you, all right? Well, hello to you, too. Well, hello to you, too, Maureen. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. Okay. One quick drink then. I know you're busy, huh? Little bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News wow. goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Why is this gonna feel stronger? Feels like it's gonna turn I into mean, some like super dark game no like the answer. first uh the first um Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two Life coffee. is strange. Coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Oh my God. And Ashley, <laughs> could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. Oh, the sound quality is actually pretty good. Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. Uh, <laughs> maybe you should check that out. Maybe you should check that out. Honestly, first the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. All right, all right, I'll come back. Hop back in the car, in the van. Let's see. So you can fast travel back over to the next point, which is this one. Okay, cool. We're gonna run the stop sign. Oh my God, another car. I drove home today from work and my God, it's so bad out right now. Ah, the mighty Ambrose River. It's like flooded all over the place by me. It's pretty bad, pretty bad. This one's just male. Next one is a box. Oh, there's cats. What house is this? 200. Does it say on the mailbox too? Oh, it does. Huh. Well, now we know. 200. Well, I wonder well, what this could be. hello there, big cuddly guy. <laughs> they have so many cats. Is this the crazy cat lady? Genevieve, a Elderly new mailman. Lady. Hello there. What's your name then? Uh, hi, Miss Jenkins, right? Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. Twenty-two years to be exact, but who's counting? 
Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieves ago. <coughs> Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but shh. You do remember me, don't you? Of course, you're the cat lady. <laughs> of course, you're the cat lady. And uh, you've got more cats than ever. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and <laughs> Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes. Yes, here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Oof. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Whoa Run along, there, dear. Lady. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Whoa. Oh, personal there, eh? Wow, she actually drives on the left-hand side. In a few days, I won't even need that map. <laughs> hey, we dropped off stuff here the other day. Can we talk to this person? Can you like walk up and talk to anybody? Oops. Left the package in the truck. Oh, well, this is 300. I think there's only one box left anyways. Pick up. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Do we hand it to them? Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. <laughs> Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, <laughs> real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Ah. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PO than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? All right. All right, I promise. Good. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay, thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Right. On to the next one. Oh, that's how you turn on the radio. Again. Luckily, we have a GPS. The uh, I think the road's a little bit off than what it should be, though. Oh, right, Bear Creek near the old lumberyard. 
Oh god. There's a new face. Lumberjack. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. Thanks. I better open this right away. Oh, what the? I'll leave you to it. Have a nice day. Uh, yeah. Thanks, and sorry. It's not your fault this is full of bullcrap. Oof. He wasn't happy, but at least he wasn't a, he wasn't a mean guy. That's pretty nice. Okay, cool. So now you get like autopilot, fast travel. Here we go back. Back here. Autopilot. What's the difference? Oh, okay, cool. So it actually autopilot just does what it says and the other one fast travels you there. Not bad. All right, as we're all autopiloting piloting there, I am going to run this to turn off them pre-rolls. But yeah, that so far this uh game's pretty cool. Uh very simple style game. But it's it's cozy you know it's like one of those like it, it feels like a lesser version of a life is strange game but um it's still fun watching and everything so so far i like it And here we are. And the work day just like that. Tuesday evening. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. How are you? How's the job? Hmm. Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. I can imagine that. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and Dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. All right, let's see. Stay home and watch TV. Stay home and read a book. Let's watch some TV. Hmm. Let's see what's on TV tonight. <laughs> Previously on Bon Appetit. Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen, unpacking the new tableware. Henri! <laughs> Did someone call me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wednesday, September 3rd morning. Oh boy, we got more today. Okay. Okay. 
Cool five and all right, let's go to that one first. Since that's right here. Good morning, Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do with a PO positive or pet B, followed by the weather. PO positive or pet P. Dale, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Jeez, literally every Thank like you 30 much, minutes. Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. Every 30 minutes is a uh, flash flood warning going off. It's so bad out right now. Hmm. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations? Mm, maybe. Just maybe. I know those guys technically on the wrong side of the road. Does it tell you what um score they are? Uh, on the front of the store maybe. Rio. Oh, 351 Main Street. What the heck? Why are they blocking me? <laughs> Seems like a cool place. Ah. Welcome to the flick shack. Back How to can the I present. Got a package kid. for you, ma'am. Look who's Hold here. On your our new postal worker. Talk about not looking the part. Whoa. <laughs> is that a compliment? Trust me, it definitely is. Oh. Well, thank you then. Mm, Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie, Look who's here Eastman. to save us all. So, what brings Ghost you to Providence? Blasters. <laughs> so, you used to live here, then I didn't, and now I'm back. Um, well, I used to live here, then I didn't, and now I'm back. Ah, oh my god, I, I see a Terminator. I've been here for six years. Poster. Must have been in your didn't period. Yep, that would be smack dab in the middle of it. What brings you here? I used to live someplace else, then I moved here. Hmm. Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. How's business? So, how's business? It's, uh, it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. <laughs> I guess it's because there's not much else to do around here. Might as well watch a flick, right? True, true. Mm, you certainly have a lot of them. Choice is everything. Nothing quite tickles the imagination like the right movie at the right time. Hmm. Maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? <laughs> My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. all right sweet okay so yeah right there it's literally the thermometer oh my god <laughs> look at these space wars the the odd father meh man 2 al akinov starface star ah words LGM <laughs> Blade Jogger The Bee Kung Fu Kid The Friendly Dead Oh my god some of these are great Gremlins 
Sussy Lee. Sussy. Sussy, eh? Some of these are great. Space Wars. I love how identical they are, too. Oh, God, what is going on here? Why are all these cars stopped? Jesus. Deliver mail. Do we have a box for this house or is it the next house? I think it's the next house. Yeah, it's definitely this one. 402 Pine Street. Ring doorbell. Commander Grace, we have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute, Commander Grace. Permission to explore? Permission granted. Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure, here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? What? Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> um, I'm sorry, who are you? What, for real? You don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Kay? Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. What? Wow, I didn't expect to see you here. That makes two of us. Got me there. You're Kay Evans now? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans, I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace! Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed, even after the whole Challenger thing. Sounds like you're doing great. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years, so... I'm flying. Time flies. So, I heard you were back in town for a while. From Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. Kitchen caught fire. The kitchen caught fire, so your Uncle Stan is gonna have a field day. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now, at the diner. That's great. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. Sounds see you like around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. Okay, I'm feeling some uh, tension or, or something. What's that person just standing over there? Oh. All right. Uh, so next one I would say is over that way so let's fast travel here whip it around
We are definitely not going 25 miles an hour. Hey, mom and dad have new neighbors. Siegler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them. Whoa. Okay, I'll do this one. Hop back in. Whip it around. Drift. <laughs> some are faster, some are slowing, some are high and some are low. Dancing through the Meryl, go. dear! So glad you Jeez. could come by. Oh, it's quite the emergency. What? What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life, the next he, well, he just wasn't I mean I'm not a vet but he looks fine to me well fact is you're not a vet are you do you know who knows about animals though is mr. Mackey he runs the old bait shop by the lake could you take Mortimer to him uh Sure. sure, I'll get right on it. Here, little kitty, come on. Wonderful. Be nice to Meredith Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. <laughs> so, bring Mortimer to Mr. M Mackie, can we fast travel over here? We can. He likes having us face the other way every time. I don't think we can even see the speed limit, so. <laughs> I wonder what it would have happened if we tried denying her. What the heck? What is this place? It's literally on the lake. I mean, it looks cozy. Looks cool. Uh, oh, wrong door. What, wait, is it this one? Nope. Come on, kitty. There he is. Mr. Mackey, I know you're closed, but- What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? What Mildred Jenkins for? tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... <laughs> oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? What? Cupcakes? I hope not. <sighs> Leave him with me. I'll put him on a diet today. 
Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Sounds good? Sure thing. Goodbye, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. Right. Uh, if we fast travel here, does it take the van with us? I would hope so. Nice. Sweet. It really is a male driving simulator. <laughs> Not even kidding. Wonder if this will be a new fast travel point. God, it's kind of rough. All right, so we're at 400 Lake Road. Is it heavy? you go what hello sir heck? parcel for you oh, he's playing a game <laughs> hello anyone home it's the mail one minute i'm busy okay sir Is that a parcel for me yes sir Oregon Trail Motel. You can just put it on the counter. All right. Have a nice day. Pilot. Actually, there's probably nothing else going on, so it's fast travel. End work day. Hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? Yeah, there's not much to do around here. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> Uh, nice one, Steve. When will the files arrive, and when do you need the feedback? Ah, oh, well, it should arrive tomorrow, and I need it yesterday. I could just send it to your post office, right? Yep, can't miss. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87, add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye.
Okay. Uh, stay home and watch TV. Stay home and watch the postman's always ring twice. All right. Well, let's watch this. Oh, Steve's parcel. And a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. Okay. Good morning, P.O. It's time... See what we got here. Uh, video rental store. Time for a PO positive or that's the one right behind us. Okay, folks, let's see what it is today. The floor is yours, Angie. Good morning, Jack. I've got a pet peeve returned videos that have not been rewinded. I mean, really? Be kind and rewind. <laughs> Thanks. Duly noted, Angie. And now on to today's weather. Hey, we we're oh my god, I completely forgot about that. Rewinding you used to have to rewind it. That's crazy. One second, chat. I'm just texting something real quick. Three fifty one Main Street. We got a package. It's like we're getting more and more. What on earth did these folks order? Oh, hello again. More mail for me? And the tape you gave me. Oh wow. You watched it already? A drifter in a sleepy town, an affair, and a plot to kill a husband? Not about mail delivery at all. <laughs> Not about mail delivery at all. But still pretty compelling, especially for such an old movie. It's a classic, and probably my favorite noir. They did a remake a couple years back, but it's, well, it's not as good. You can't beat Lana Turner's smoldering intensity. Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Most of the people here don't really appreciate the art of classic cinema. They just want to see Police Academy again. You're selling them short. Maybe. Just wish I wasn't the only movie buff around. Uh, keep feeding my VCR and I'll speed up to well, it in no time. Keep feeding my VCR and I'll be up to speed in no time. We're Will do. Speed. Let me think about it and I'll get back to you. You know, it's good to see you. That's nice to hear. Because I have a sneaky little plan. What? Oh, we're whispering now? I want you to meet me, say, at, at five today. Uh, is that the is plan? Is that the plan? No, but it's where I'll discuss the plan. You in? All right, I'm, All right. In. I'm in. Hurrah! I'll see you this afternoon. Wait, where are we meeting up? Your place? It's 102 New Street, right? How does she know? Yes. How did you find that out? Looked up your last name in the Rolodex. 
Your parents are regular clients. Oh. Oh, well. It's settled then. See you at five, partner. Partner. Cool. All right. Um, hold on, chat. I need to run to the bathroom real quick, and then we'll go ahead and continue. So I'll be right back. What's that? I am back, and let's go ahead and continue delivering some mail. Whoa! Just wanna watch the stars fall. Is it this one or the next one? I think it's the next one. Interesting. I right. Got a box to drop off next. Is one oh two Pine Street? That's lighter than I thought. There you go. All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. Waits like two seconds <laughs> and then drops. All right, let's go pick up Mr. Uh, Mortimer. Okay. Go to Moe's Diner. Oh, there's a fox. And we'll pick, pick up Mr. Uh, Mortimer. second chat i'm sending out a quick text that i need to do
right. Uh, let me grab the horrible part job. <laughs> At least it's a small town, so. That's lighter than I thought. I wish fully complain. <laughs> Hi, Maureen. Hi, hon. How are you doing this fun day? You know, same old, same old. I don't know a darn thing, Miss Left Yonks ago. Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Meredith Wise, back in Providence Oaks. How's life treating you, darling? It's all right, actually. I delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier. Yeah, she told me. How did that go for you? I think I put my foot in it, to tell you the truth. I can imagine it can be a lot to take in for the both of you, especially after being away for so long. Then again, there are some things that never change, right? You being one of them. <laughs> I will take that as a compliment. But I bet the diner looks a bit strange to you, doesn't it? Uh, I like what you did. I like what you did with the place. Sure. Yeah. I decided it was time for a change. Didn't feel I the really same know what after she did, my but... stand died. World keeps turning. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? Oh, is Moe's Maureen? Oh my gosh, Maureen. Stan died? I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But it's really okay. It's been ten years already. Ten and a half, almost. Oh, boy, did I love that man. <sighs> We've been married for so long. He hit me like a brick. But after a while, I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's not what Stan would have wanted either. All right, chat. <laughs> Clicked out for a second. That's really inspiring. We're talking. Thank you, hon. Sorry. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back up. So I did. For me, but also for Kay. <sighs> she took her uncle's death pretty hard. I wish I'd known. Sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, look at your face. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? Uh, nope. I can't recall. Uh, it's okay, hon. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, but Kay's been through a lot. <sighs> Nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. I think seeing you again shook her up a little, is all. She must have missed you during those days. I can imagine. I'm not sure if we can just pick up where we left off. Well, there's one way to find out. Listen, Meredith. Time marches on. And eventually, you realize it's marching across your face. Life's too short. That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. And listen, you check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's important in life. <laughs> Hand on my heart, I will return as soon as I have a delivery. Or sooner. Huh? I'll hold you to that. You bet. Bye, Maureen. All right. Their, uh, their COVID numbers must be down pretty low. I mean, they are a pretty small town, so... Maybe not a lot of people <laughs> be able to get in it. <laughs> Stupid. All right, let's go over here to the bait shop. I like how some, uh, I, I wonder if these are like the more commonly visited spots. 
since some of them have autopilot uh, options. They slowed down right there. The GPS is pretty off. Oh God. The road is like way more to the left than it actually is. Or the mini map, I mean. That's all right, indie game. <laughs> I forgot, Um. so tomorrow uh, that Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous or something like that um, drops. I've always wanted to play the first Hi game, there, but Mr. never Mackey? got around to it. How's Mortimer? Oh, good day, Meredith. Mort's fine, as I expected. It was just a little indigestion. A good night's rest and a bit of lake trout in the morning has done the little critter a world of good. Excellent. Glorious. Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Let me take him off your hands. All right. Bye, Mort. Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? I'm having fun, yes. Well, that's good. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. For sure, Mr. Mackey. Have a nice day. Game makes me want to replay uh, Life is Strange. I haven't played... Uh, I really enjoyed the first one, to be honest. Um, way more of that. And that was way before I had ever started streaming. Um, if I remember correctly, at least. And I didn't realize how good that game ended up actually being. And then I just never really got around to uh, to Before the Storm or Life is Strange 2 or um, now the, the new one comes out in like a week or so. So they're uh, coming up quick, real fast. But, uh, I don't know, maybe one day soon, <laughs> I say that for so many other games though, I have so many games to go through still, I just can't wait until we have our, I I'm trying to like, right now stick to like, it's not smaller games, but I guess kind of like shorter games because in a month, literally a month from today, as long as everything works out, we have our settlement for our house. So, um, when that happens, I'm going to be gone for like look who's back. three weeks Lord of stream time, pretty oh, much. Look at you. You're good as new. Almost. Or like two. Yeah, Mr. Mackey did say not to feed him cupcakes. Hmm. I suppose he's right. It's... It's just that he likes them so much. Don't you, Mortimer? Anyway, thank you so much, Meredith. My pleasure. See you, Miss Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Say goodbye to Meredith, Mortimer. That's borderline negligence there, uh... Mortimer... <laughs> Meredith... Or not Meredith. Whatever the heck her name is. Um... But yeah, so I'm literally going to be gone for like two weeks or so setting up stuff and then going away uh, in the beginning of October. So, uh, yeah, and then, of course, right when I get back, there's going to be like so many games dropping. It's going to be Battlefield, um, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh you others i know there's like three or four in october dropping so it's gonna be a busy month for games we're trying to keep up with everything but then after that i think it it kind of cools off for a while at least for a little bit still need to go back to final fantasy i still want to continue my playthrough of Red Dead Redemption, I want to play Yakuza 5, new other series, Oh, still need to do Celasta, 
so many things. One day at a time, though, right? There's a face I remember. Morning. Hi, Robert. Hey there. More paperwork with my name on it? Well, take a look for yourself. Thanks. Oh, it gets worse every day. Uh, sorry to hear that. Can you believe it? I've been taking care of this lakeside for years. And now they're gonna bulldoze it and build apartments. Oh. Oh, that's a shame. I'd hate to see the place I grew up ruined by an apartment building. What? You grew up here? Yes, my father was the mailman before me. Mr. Weiss. Ah, oh, so you're the prodigy he's always talking about. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. But tell me about that paperwork. They say you can file an official objection, but I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. I'd rather get the chainsaw and cut down Town Hall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nothing a chainsaw <laughs> can't handle. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Sure. Well, not kidding. Maybe I can help out. I'm better with paper than chainsaws. Would you? Awesome. I'll think about it. Have a great day. Good day, Mr. Harris. Hey, wait up. I'm done thinking about it. Whoa, Maybe you'd want to go through all the files together tomorrow afternoon at Moe's. Food and drinks on me. Sure. Hmm, sure. Who can say no to food and drinks at Moe's? Awesome. I'll see you there then. I'll bring all the paperwork. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Cool. Fast travel back. End the day and then start the next. Oh, wait. I wonder if it. So, yeah, so this is the first time we're gonna have something else uh, happening after work and not just going home, so. I wonder if, like, anything special happens or if it kind of plays out similar to, like, watching TV. No, Angie Eastman, you can't really create a woman with a computer. What movie is that? It's called Weird Science. You really haven't heard of it? It was a pretty big hit. I figured you with your computer background. All right, I'll add it to the huge mental list I've been compiling ever since we started talking. So that's Weird Science, Life of Python. <laughs> Brian, Brian, Monty Python's Life of Brian. Right. <laughs> you know, you don't really look the part of a computer nerd, either. Whoa. Well, I'm off duty. For a while. Good for you. So, any particular reason you're not at the nerd factory anymore? Uh, it's complicated. Multiple reasons. Push and pull. I don't really talk about it. Let's just say I needed a change of scenery. Okay, well... I totally get wanting something different, anyway. I used to live in Los Angeles. Oh, really? Whoa. Then, yeah. Providence Oaks is pretty different. <laughs> sure is. It's quieter, for one thing. Slower, for another. Yeah. Those are the two things I like best about it. Me too, I think. It took some getting used to. So tell me about this plan of yours. Is the suitcase part of it? Oh, right. It's simple. I want you to distribute movies all over Providence Oaks. You mean for free? Yeah. You know the town. You're starting to know the people. Not all of them have VCRs yet, but that's why God invented movie boxes. And by God, I mean electronics companies. Look! It's a VCR in a box, and it's portable too, so you can take it to anyone. Hmm. Wow, never seen one of those before. Wow, never seen one of those before. I've made a list of potential customers and the movies I think they'll like. All you have to do is just deliver the movie box with a movie of their choice. Then you go and pick it back up once they've watched it. Oh. Okay, but what's the revenue model here? Oh, you. Not Everything is about money. It's about promoting the store. Which 
I guess is ultimately about money. Here, I'll give you these two to start. These are for Lori. You know her, right? I, uh, yes, do. Yes, I've met her during my rounds before. Yes, good. I have these two for her. The love bug and a nightmare on Elm Street. This one is about murders in a bathtub, right? Well, not exactly. You'll just have to watch it. But not before Lori gets a chance. I think she'll love it. After Lori gives back the box, I have a couple movies planned for Burt Mackey. They are Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. And that's it for now. If you're in, that is. So, you in? I'm in. All right. These addresses seem to be on my route anyway. I'm in. All right. Thanks a bunch, babe. Now, do you have any more of this great coffee? Actually, I really need to head back. Oh, what's the rush? I left the store unattended. Better get back. I understand. Talk to you soon? Absolutely. Bye, babe. <laughs> oh, okay. Weiss residence, Thursday evening. Hello? Hey, Meredith. Hey, Dad! How's life? I heard something about poker, fishing, and margaritas. <laughs> Talk to Mom, huh? But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? Uh, to be honest, not too much. I'm starting to I'm love it. I'm starting to love it. Being on the road, the freedom, the people. That's great to hear. Frank's quite the character, huh? Frank's quite the character indeed. Is he married? Frank married? Yes, to baseball. He places a bet every now and then. Nothing too serious. Hmm. Okay. And what about Mildred Jenkins? Mildred likes to talk a lot. I sometimes postpone delivering her mail until she and her cats can't ambush me. Speaking of ambushes, your mom is telling me to hurry up. We're going to a movie. Okay, Dad, don't keep her waiting. What movie? Uh, Stand By Me. About four Oregon boys in the 50s. Right up my alley. Sounds good. Say hi to mom for me. Will do. Bye, Meredith. Sweet. Uh, work on the added 87 material. Yeah, let's do that. Sure. Better be uh, clocking in that overtime. All right, here we go. Get paid. Probably salary, though. Friday, September 5th morning. Turn to the post office. Wait, what? Rise and shine, P.O. The time has come for a... P.O. Positive for that P. Today's contribution is for Mildred, the senior authority on pets and thieves. What's this stop? Uh... Wait, where's the package? I know, I'm trying to figure out what stop this is. It's Main Street. I think it's the only one on Main Street. 207. That's lighter than I thought. Here's the mail, ma'am. Ugh, one of those yellow parcels. Isn't yellow the color of fun and happiness? It's for that thing behind the door, a photography mini lab. They installed it last week and they want me to operate it. As if I don't have enough on my plate already. That's pretty nice, actually. I love photography. Some people think they can become professional photographers overnight. Well, photography can be just for fun too, right? Look, if you want to take photographs, knock yourself out. They want me to practice with the mini lab before the service is officially offered. They sent me a practice kit with the camera and film. 
Really? I'd love to take pictures. The surroundings here are wonderful. Well, here you go, and good luck. Take some pictures and then return it to me. Have a nice day, ma'am. A C to get camera. Like they casually give you quests that aren't like fully quests but they are quests if that makes any sense at all i could have gone to straight and then turn right and then turn left that's all right Go straight here. Ugh, trying to zoom out back in go to the aisle, auto aisle, autopilot <laughs> over here and then now we can go uh, I love how it, it automatic the car automatically slows down around corners we got two to the left here So, chat, I'm just going to say this, because why not? But I am uh, debating about it and possibly future uh, YouTube videos as well for anybody potentially watching this. Um, I have been debating about hmm. starting to do multi-streams, like um, aka streaming to multiple platforms at the same time in order to get more discoverability across multiple platforms. Uh, so with that, that would be YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, uh, all at the same time, um, especially with recently today, uh, in the last two days, actually. Oh God, this is why I stop at stop signs. Uh, yesterday, Dr. Lupo, announced he was moving to YouTube and of course he got a huge deal um all of that but today also Tim the Tatman who has been a huge uh Twitch face for quite a while now um like ever since 2012 I think was 10 years um he also announced that he would be moving to YouTube. So, not that I am anything close to either one of them, but I do think that possibly within the future that YouTube could honestly be uh, 
fairly decent competitor to Twitch. Of course, you uh, for live stream content, Twitch is number one. Uh, and the discoverability for YouTube is kind of all over the place. But apparently for the people that do watch live streams on YouTube, they are very common for the people, um, for new people to show up. I remember today I was going through different categories and I saw uh, honestly streams that had like three viewers in them that were being recommended to me. So my only worry is playing such small games um, that I do play sometimes, of course, because I, I don't play all the, the big heavy hitters constantly like Apex Legends or, or COD or anything. I don't really go between those or um do all of that but overall if it does help discoverability and things like that rather than sticking to just one platform um Oops. it could potentially be a, in the truck a, a pretty good thing so i'm i've been debating about it uh we'll see if i if i did do that i would probably set it up on the weekend or so um so that way i have all chats <sighs> showing up on the thought. screen so it's not just like oh who are you talking to type thing it um we'll probably have the chat and see the logo next to it i do have the capability of doing it through stream okay. delivery for the diner so hey meredith we'll see sure now. just uh put it on the counter would you okay about the other day what about it Uh How did things end up with the moon landing? The moon landing? Actually, I got stuck on the moon, but then I took a really big jump for the rocket and got back on board just in time. Grace voiced a few objections regarding the scientific accuracy of that move, but hey. Okay. As long as it gets you to where you need to be, right? Yep. So I talked to Maureen. Let me guess. You got a piece of Maureen's wisdom too, eh? Why doesn't that surprise me? That explains why she wanted me to take over today's shift, then. She told me about Uncle Stan. I'm so sorry. Thanks. It was a long time ago, but I appreciate it. It's not the same without him. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. And Maureen. That's kind of you to say, Meredith. I mean, I didn't contact you about it at the time, but then again, I had kind of given up by then. I guess everyone has their own things to deal with. Even me. I get it. There's always a reason for things to go the way they do. <sighs> Thanks for understanding. Time marches on. What did Maureen always say about that again? One day you realize it's, it's marching, marching across, across your across face. Your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mo. Some things never change. You say that like it's a good thing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Em. It was good to talk, I mean, you know. Yeah. It was. I have to get back to it, but see you around, maybe? I'm sure. See ya. I feel, and I might be wrong here, but I feel like they might have, uh, um, Um, I feel like they might have had a previous relationship. I thought you were just trying to just read a text. Oh, 
Oh god. Ah, it's already 9:15. Keep it moving here for a bit. Got a box for the Reynolds farm. One Reynolds farm, <laughs> that's the address. Hello, sir. I reckon that's a parcel with my name on it. I reckon your name is Jack Reynolds? Indeed I am. And I reckon you're the new postal worker. I reckon you could say that. Well, thank you much. New around here, I reckon. People call me JR. I'm a farmer and a DJ. I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you. DJ and farmer? That's a rare combo. Indeed it is, but it's a nice distraction from farm. Uh, seen better times. I had some spare time and a room in the shed, so I figured, why not? About your playlist. It's really nice. Thanks, but I really need to add more songs. But I'm in the middle of a potato harvest. Don't have much time. Hey, listen, postal worker Meredith, I need to get back to work. Can you do me a favor and give this envelope to Frank? Sure, no problem. <laughs> Thank you, you so much. Stamp first. <laughs> All right. Where else are we going? Deliver to Lori. It's fast travel here. And then we'll do autopilot over to Lori. I love those features. It's so nice. Like uh, driving isn't bad, obviously, but it's it just makes it a uh, more chill experience. right i didn't bring the package oh i didn't realize the icon was different for this one so i couldn't tell lake road american postal simulator hey, w. yo what's going on dev today? No, but I have something else. What Angie up? from the Flick Shack asked me to deliver some movie boxes. She also asked me to deliver some to you. Oh, tight. What are the options? Tight. Let me see. The Love Bug or A Nightmare on Elm Street. You'll probably <laughs> love that bug. I'm almost 16, oh, Miss oh, W. Oh. That's a kid's movie. Well, I watched it when I was in college. So you're saying it's an ancient kid's movie? Going to hate hiff clangers, hiff clangers. I don't know why. <laughs> oh my god, hiff clangers, dude. What? What cliffhangers? 
how did I say hiff clang? <laughs> Jesus. Dyslexic for you. Oh my god. That's a clip, yo. <laughs> What's up, Pat? What a time to join. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Yeah, I'm not that hey, old. Hey, I'm not that old. Join so you'll take a nightmare on Elm Street? Give me the love bug. Hello, friendos. Welcome to the American Postal Simulator. AKA Lake. I thought you didn't want that one. Did Ugh, anyone's power go out? It did not but for me. But if my me. parents catch me watching Elm Street, dude, driving home, home was an absolute wreck. I wish they just take a today, chill pill and see that I'm basically an adult. I don't think I've ever I've driven through such oh, high water bad, in my Lori. life. Maybe you can watch it at a friend's house today. instead. No, I'm homeschooled. There aren't many teenagers here, as you may have noticed. So I don't really have any friends to watch it with. So it's a love bug for me. Take the love bug now and we'll watch the horror movie at what. my place. Take the love bug now and we'll watch the horror movie at my place. Would Sunday work for you? What? Really? Yes, it would. That'd be wicked, Miss W. Of course. I'm always in for a good fright. Nice. So, see you Sunday? Totally. Thanks so much. Deal. Have a nice day. Yeah, I didn't. I should have left. Next time, dude, I'm. The next time it's ever like this again, I'm telling my boss, like, hey, dude, like, I, I barely made it home. I literally had to make so many different turns just to to get around water and through water like i'm honestly a little bit scared now and it's still flooded so badly right now it's really bad actually but other than that i mean power knock on wood has been good so far Parents were stuck in three hours after picking up phil from well now, Jesus. meredith and robert welcome to moe's table for two Hi, Maureen. Yeah, it kind yes, of does please. have that feel, Dev. Firewatch. We've got work to do. Is that what they're calling it now? It's got like Speaking a... Speaking of work, Robert, someone reckon they could fix the roof themselves and uh, <clears throat> made it worse somehow. Um, I mean, foot just went right through. No physical harm, thankfully. The roof. Yes. It's got like I a firewatch and uh, uh, let me check out the strange feel. Be right back. Thanks, darling. Hmm? Sure is one of the good ones right there. He seems very nice, but yeah. I haven't actually talked to him longer than 10 minutes. Dude, oh my god, I, with anything? I gotta show you, you know guys you the, movie, the it, huh? movie store. The movie store is great. There's so many references and they all look identical too. It's actually really funny. Like, there's the Kung Fu Kid. Uh ghost bastards or something like that no ghost something the treminator something like that uh star space wars like they're oh my god it's so funny um luckily dev the car i was driving was actually um i i don't drive my car every day i drive a, a honda insight for the most part so that car is stock height and everything <laughs> uh but yeah dude oh, it was Maureen, crazy there please. was waves what do you take me for? hitting the front for of the car at one being, point it was of course bad. don't go telling me city life turned you into a robot now i don't buy it but other cars second. were going through it so i went anyway, through it too and i made let it let me show you to my nicest table it was wild Aye, the sun hits your face in all the right places here <laughs> okay, so what you're saying is there's a couple of things we can do, but no chainsaws. Definitely no chainsaws for the moment. It's just that the remaining options oh, will yeah, take they time, effort, and patience. Rip this guy's well, place that's down. One out of three for me. Can I get you love birds? Anything else? Maureen, <laughs> really? I could always decide not to fix your roof today, you know. Don't worry, Robert. I know Maureen. I'm sure she doesn't mean anything by it. <laughs> boys let me just tell you real quick that twitch or no 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 
Passesclay.tv slash merch. We got some new stuff there, and we're going to have some new stuff within the next few days. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just saying. Just saying. There's going to be some new designs on there within probably this weekend. Uh, so, yeah. And you know, you know what's cool? Now, like, honestly, I don't care if you guys um, try, try exclamation point merch. I don't know if that works. That boy, there is a dad hat. There is a uh, all of that. Oh wow, it actually does work. That's amazing. Um, yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, since you're right there, let me go ahead and uh, pull this up. Now, technically, that's the old link. Uh. And right now, this is just like over the weekend, I was messing around with this and stuff. It's right now mainly just my logo on some items. We got some, you know, some shirts, only 16 bucks. I mean, that's not horrible. Like the shirts nowadays are 30, a $27 sweatshirt. Hey, it's got, comes in different colors, you know, we've got some stickers, a backpack, um, so the one some of these they are embroidered um so the coloring might not be perfect but supposedly it's quality i honestly really want to get one of these myself um i think this looks pretty sick same thing with uh actually i don't think i added a dad hat on there just yet got mugs another shirt and then this hoodie which actually i do want to add as well there are so many options <laughs> um and there's really so many more items but so far i because you have to individually add them so for now i just added a few um because it's gonna take a while I, I wish you could select like multiple things and and add it in there but um yeah, I have some potentially new designs being added on here as well. Uh, very, very like simple stuff, but like, uh, we'll see about that. But yeah, <laughs> I personally, I don't really care if anyone does pick it up. If, if anything, I get like two or three dollars for somebody buying something. So it's like nothing crazy, but, uh, I figured I would just say something real quick because I am going to try to update it and add some more options and stuff now that like it's it's there, you know, it, it sits there. So it's not like there's anything special I need to do or create, you know, and, and the other cool thing is I can actually purchase every item myself for a for little bit, support. a little bit cheaper. What the heck was that? What was that? What was that? Hold up. Hold up. Hey, wait a minute. Hold up. One second. I heard that. Oh, hold on one second. I know what that is. I'm trying to find it. Looks around. Pat, what did you do? I can't, I can't find the history. Cause he, cause it, it did this. Ready? Credits received. Thank you for your monetary support. What, what was that? What history? I'm try. I dude, I can't find it. Recent events. I can't see. I I, I had this hidden too. Uh, hold on one second, chat. I know. Sorry. Out of the game. Out of the game. I know. I know. Dude, I don't know how to see it. Alert box.
I can't see it. <laughs> it doesn't let me. Credits received. Yo, well, whoever just did that, and I might be Soldier Pat. Thank you, though. Or Dev. Whichever one of you that was. And whatever it was. Did I get a notification? Wait, let me check. Let me check. <laughs> oh, really? I <laughs> bought a mug. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I... Uh, <laughs> That's awesome. Was it the white or black one? Yeah, I'll, I'll add them in this weekend. I'll I'll update you the next time you're uh black, of course. Okay. Yeah, I actually just uh, I just ordered that one. Um there's so many options and I'm going to try to go through it and add a bunch this weekend. Um So, and then at some point I do want to order like obviously right now I'm not on face cam or anything, but I, I do want to order some stuff myself and just rock it even myself. So Pat, when you do get it, you got to send me a picture. I want to see how good the quality is. Um, the one thing I've been trying to do is I've been trying to find, uh, cause they have so many different shirt options. So I've been trying to find a way on how you can, um, what is it? Um, uh, one second. I'm going to show you guys a potential design as well. Um, I've been trying to find like a dry fit, like kind of like, um, uh, sorry, completely drawn a blank, like under armor, like t-shirt. Because otherwise, like, I, I don't like wearing, like, regular t-shirts most of the time. All right, so I'm going to give a little sneak peek at this. Um, this potentially might be, oh, God, a design that uh, might be going on to a shirt. And there are a few others, but are you guys ready? to see it are you ready world exclusive dun 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 and this is just like a prototype for now I mean like somebody designed it uh for me but ready three two one oh god I closed it out. I meant to maximize it <laughs> hold on <laughs> there you go there oh, that's all you get to see Boom. 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 You know what the inspiration was for this? Kazuma Kiru. Or Kiru Kazuma. Kiru. I, uh, I hit somebody up. And they're like, I was like, hey, can you do this? And I should have actually hit the, I actually just paid them to do it in the first place. And then they're like, <laughs> after the fact, they're like, hey, thank you for your business. But next time, please hit me up beforehand. And I was like, okay, sure. No problem. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to try to throw this on to some stuff over the weekend as well um i don't know how this one's gonna come out reminds me of yakuza let's just assume i said that <laughs> well yeah that's what it is yakuza kazuma kiru or kiru kazuma i don't know why i keep saying 
uh, Kazuma Kiru. But that's technically what it is. Um, there are some other generic designs that I had done as well. Um, which I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do them just yet. But just to... I'll give a sneak preview of some of them as well. This is one um, different person. I thought it was kind of cool, but I think they... 99% sure they did not design this. And that they kind of just threw this together. Um, so that I'm kind of hesitant about that. Another one is this. Um... But if they did make their own art or interpretation of this, then that would be okay. And final one is this. So we'll see. Um, I kind of like the other one more. And if I if I did anything, I would reach back out to them again and be like, hey, so uh, what else can you make? But I don't know. We'll see. Regardless, I was just kind of like... The last two days, I got a, a few uh, sparks of interest and was like, hey, I could. Uh, um, all right, let's let's get back to this now. I'm going to hit that. I'm going to cut that out of uh, that whole thing. But still going to be cool. Yeah, Pat, maybe I'll uh, we can have you. Uh, I'll, I'll set up a chair and an extra mic and then throw you right next to me. We can do a little podcast one day. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, so let, uh, let me choose one of these. A coffee refill would be nice. Thanks, Maureen. <laughs> gotcha, hun. Robert. <laughs> we took leak. Oh, God. The same for me, please. Sure thing. Back I thought... in a jiff. Ashley, is that coffee machine still running? I froze for like 30 minutes there. So I was wondering hey, if he was going to freeze for 30 minutes Glad to we're choose. finally done for today. But there's more to come. I'm sure you'll do fine. <laughs> oh, God. Why is the lagging Thanks, now? Thanks, but you don't sound very convincing. Test. To be honest, you probably need some extra help. Is that an offer? Sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, you two hard-working individuals. Here you go. Uh, you'll Thanks, get a nice uh, lollipop uh, or as coffee. well. How could anyone survive without it? So, how's life in PO so far? It's only been a week, but... So far, so good. Yeah, I've <laughs> been here a bit longer. Um, I don't know what's going Time on sure now. Does fly. When you're having fun? Yeah, uh, look, Meredith, I'm sorry. I really better get started on fixing that roof. It's just, uh, Lake? that's quite a big Lake job. Lake what? Well, Yo, it's still what's up, Dad? Out, you know. Uh, you boys, so, boys, so you're all help. showing up. I, mean, I really so do late. It. Drive home safe. <laughs> uh, that's I'll all see right, you around town. So, thank you guys. Yeah, I'll like see postal you. service, true. My power or Pat, really? How long was your power out for? Everything okay over here? Yeah, I guess. I but see my connection I'm dropping sure. in and out a little bit here, like two hours. Ooh. Dude, when my power goes out, like. My, uh, my power goes out so easily. Okay. My name is Walter Morgan. And when I'm it does, it goes out I'm for like with regards to compliance to a day or two. Guidelines, such as the use of postal service property, code of conduct, and so on. Vampire, you know, true. I will be in touch again soon. Well, bad. I know that. I know for you. So. I'm also going to edit my uh, links and stuff this weekend. It's my goal for, like, Saturday. Meredith, it's Steve. Oh, hi, Steve. Oh, hi, Steve. Thanks so much for improving the text and sending it back to me. 
Got any streaming plans tomorrow? Of a deal. Probably this. Tomorrow night. Same time. I was going to go to the gym tonight, but since everywhere is flooded, that's not happening. So, tomorrow's Thursday. Keep forgetting today's Wednesday, right? Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. You're welcome, Steve. A monster deal? It's a monster deal. This so. big retailer, big money, big prizes. Ooh. I've been wanting to play Insurgency 2 recently, actually. I'd be down. A monster deal? That's I could so definitely awesome. do a uh, big money, big prizes. Ooh, I need to calm down too. Insurgency co-op <laughs> well, yeah. or let's play. Is needed. Eyes on the prize. Hurricane, yeah, bad. It, it's. I mean, like, the hurricane. Hurricane didn't hit us, but the storm. The next steps are me hit going us. to meet up with them this like, week. Like the rain Discuss and everything. Terms. It's been crazy. It, everywhere is flooded right now. It took me. It usually takes me like 30 minutes to get home. It took me an hour and 10 minutes, which isn't too bad but it was so bad on my way home like it was really bad okay steve good luck a lot of places are still flooded too so i'm probably going to end up working from Thanks, home Meredith. tomorrow Speak soon. because i honestly don't know if i'm gonna be able to get out of my neighborhood at the moment i had to take like three different ways around to be able to even get to it oh wow so we actually have an agenda pick up Lori's movie box movie night with Lori. Stay home and watch TV or read a book. Chat, should we watch TV or read a book? Also ill way too early for dev. I'm an old man, Pat. Normally get a bit around this time. Really? Jesus. Watch TV. <laughs> Who reads? Alright, good. Previously on Bon Appetit. I have good news. Jean Paul has agreed to become the chef of the I'm downtown glad, restaurant. I'm glad we're all oh, in the same Oh, that's fantastic. Agreements. Rock and roll. There is only one problem. Jean Paul is not a cook, but a car technician. <laughs> Saturday, September good 6th. Good morning, Meredith. There's an envelope today with an incomplete Wait, address on it. It only oh. says Mickey in June, Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Do you think you can find that? Uh, I think I know yeah. where that is. I think I know where that is. All right. Have a great day. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Frank, I wanted to ask you something. I will not babysit Mildred's cats. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's about something else. <laughs> Is sports betting legal? What's in the envelopes for you? What's in those envelopes for you? Oh, that's just for stamps. Saves them the hassle of driving up here. Hey, I gotta get back to work. Catch you later. <laughs> Dude, I feel like this, this game's gonna have like a super dark twist out of nowhere. Bootleg Jim Gordon. <laughs> that's actually great. Dude, I don't know what's going on. The heck? It's like all automatically like all of a sudden freezing. Um, hold on, I'm gonna uh, my 